Hi, so it's May 1st and we've been in quarantine for our uh, stay at home for six weeks and um, I've been busy. Everybody's afraid to see what I've come up with. Um, I've been kind of coming up with some new ideas, but some finishing of some older patterns that I had started that you haven't seen before. So I'm going to show you what I have been doing uh, since the middle of March. So this is one I just finished this week. This one is Tuxedo. Um, this one is um, done with back quarters uh, and it's just a bit 30 blocks. It's really a fun one. Okay, this one is again Tuxedo. That one was 30 blocks. This is 20 blocks. And um, I just wanted to see what it would look like if we put a nice big pretty print in there instead of just a solid black. Uh, that's how it got its name was black and white was Tuxedo. And uh, so this one is just done with uh, twin, uh, some fat quarters, 12 fat quarters. And then I have that to contend with all the time. Okay, so this is Amour. I ordered this fabric a long time ago from Maywood and uh, I got it in while we were in quarantine. And so I fell in love with it, had to design a new pattern for the line. And so um, I did get a bolt of this and then these are fat quarters. So it's just um, two blocks. There's this star block and this star block. Um, I just had a lot of fun. They're little eight inch blocks, but I just thought the pattern was just perfect for this collection. It's summer nights and I quilted this one while we were off. So um, I had some really pretty stencils that I had bought at Sew Expo that I wanted to put right in the center there and in the center here. So it was a fun one to play with, but I did do some quilting. So this one is Tumbleweeds. I ordered this fabric at the end of February and I got it uh, a couple weeks later. And it is the Hoffman Backsplash ombre fabric. It's all just one main fabric and then your two, your light blue and your white. Um, I love this one. It's going to definitely go to one of my little great grandeurs. I started, I started a long time ago, but I just really never finished it. So I got it out and finished it during my little time off. And um, this one is done with back quarters. There's two shades of purple in each block and then two shades of blue for the chains. Um, not sure yet what the name of the pattern is, double star or star something, star chain. Not sure yet, but sure do like it. And it's the border was bought after I made all the blocks. I couldn't believe that I found such a perfect fabric for the border. Okay, so this one I had started, this is actually block nine, I believe it is, the, two, the flying geese block of last year's 2019 sampler. And I thought, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be fun to see what it would look like with um, all the different colors? So there are eight different color families, two shades of each for the block. It is Firecracker 2.0, and uh, an older pattern that I had that I completely changed it's not even similar to it, but it's a really easy way of doing this block, again using the 2x4 flying geese ruler. Diana sent me a picture of a quilt that she fell in love with. It had a lot of curved seams though, and so I took it and I'm using the Tri-Rex here instead of the curved seams that they had. And um, I added the little corners, the leftovers on the borders, so your four borders have your leftover little squares. It's a fun one to do and we're called, this is Grandma's Bouquet. And it will be our May, Mother's Day pattern. On the 1st of March, I ordered this collection. It's Rue 1860, I believe it is. It's a line of fabric from Moda. I just thought they were beautiful. And so this was a packet of fat quarters. And um, this is gonna be the freebie pattern for the year that I give to you. It's just a little pinwheel and as one of my students showed me a picture, she wanted to see if she could, she could make it. So anyway, it's a freebie pattern, but I have another one that I made with a packet of 10 inch squares. So this is the other one I did. This is using a packet of 10 inch squares and it can be done with those. And so uh, if you come to one of my girls, day out, girls Night Out classes uh, sometime this year, you'll get the pattern for free. So I also finished 2021 sampler. This is not my original design, but you will, I will get the books for you. Uh, it is Harmony and 
Uh, I just fell in love with this. I'm having kits made for this one. And uh, it's using the Regency line of fabric from Timeless Treasures. And um, I hope you guys have fun with it. Okay, girls, I guess I have been a little bit busy. There are 10 quilts here. Um, plus I did another quilted, another quilt that I gave to my daughter. So um, two quilts that I quilted, completely made and quilted, and then uh, the 10 top. So I guess I've been a little busy. You know it, as soon as we put all the quilts back where they had been in the studio, Shadow gets up on there as if she owns the place.